We are inside the cockpit on the broad blue 415 catamaran Laurel Blue and we're going to take a look into the interior and see what she's like inside. So we're going through the uh, salon doors, double doors that open on sliders. Here we are in the saloon. So immediately on the left is the navigation station with a uh, TV screen, electrical board here, uh, so you can monitor what's happening with the powers, power supply. And taking a slow look around the saloon, we see it's galley up, very large seating area, all finished in Alcantara. Good vision, eye level vision from the saloon, and there is the uh, cockpit door. So just continuing on round, we can start with the uh, nav gear. We've got a uh, weather station, a repeater there for the Raymarine, main screen for displaying uh, television and chart stuff, fully interface, there's VHF, and a single sideband radio there, uh, music system, handheld VHF on charge there. There's a very nice stool that pulls out and a chart table drawer with all the equipment in there. Uh, the galley up we have a stainless steel fridge about three litres and the cooking on the boat is electric there's no, there's no gas. Uh, we've got an electric oven and a grill here which is an induction hob so it's induction cooking. Uh, you can run the uh, you don't have to start an engine or generator to run the hob. There's two large inverters, three kilowatts each, will run straight from the batteries, or you can supplement it with an engine running. Um, or if you're doing some serious cooking, start the generator. Here's the um, uh, double sink with the curry on top, right there. And uh, this, I guess, is for scraping rubbish in, very handy system. And uh, this is um, the eye line out from the galley. You can see here we are in Brighton Marina. That's what we can see. And backing out of the galley, looking at the saloon area, you're very much in touch with what's on there. Um, under this seat is uh, the freezer, stainless steel again. Very comfortable area. Well, f well, beautifully finished in a sort of matte finished oak. Um, you see the grill over there for the uh, air conditioning outlet, and the air conditioning is reverse cycle, so it can become a heating system as well. So let's go down into the starboard hull, which is the owner's hull. I don't know if there's enough light in here. Let's see how it goes. Um, We'll have a look first of all. There's a desk here with a, a pull out stool and this beautiful double berth here. A very, very thick orthopedic cushions, uh, mattresses rather, and a walkway on the side here so you can um, access the side of the berth very well. And it's also end so you're not crawling over somebody when you're getting in and out of the uh, berth. The door here you can see, so the whole of the hull from here, this slider, and uh, a door closes here, so you've got total privacy in the hull if you wish it. There's an escape hatch on the inboard side, and here is um, the uh, owner's head area with a heated tower rail and uh, a huge mirror. This is all mirror uh, right here sink and um, this is an electric loo here so it uh, it's just a push button operation and a very very large shower so I'll just walk through into it and I can pretty much stand up in here and spread my arms akimbo wide so this is the shower 
closes off very nicely and uh, uh, and it's also got the seat here for the shower so looking back down the hull from the seat uh, we, we have this sort of view and also a nice view outside so let's wander off uh, back through the owner's hull plenty of cupboards and storage spaces on the, on the side here drawers under the berth you see hanging wardrobe on our left right here Oh, sorry, <laughs> it's not hanging wardrobe. This is the um, washing machine here. Hanging wardrobe is here in the owner's cabin. So walking up the steps, traversing the saloon. We're now going down into the port hull where we have a forward double cabin. It's a sort of cushions piled up on in here. Um, and the, the door there leads through to another single berth, so we make a nice family cabin. The, ber the boat has seven berths, that's three doubles plus this one through here. And looking aft, you see we have another big double aft as well. That's really nice in there. It's a little mirror image of the uh, owner's hull. And you can see, there's the walkway down the side. Lovely view in the morning, you see the water. That's nice having the windows low like that because you can look down into the water in the morning. This is a view forward in the port hull. And this is the bathroom and head on the, uh, which serves both the double cabins and port side electric head again. Heated tower rail, Corian tops with a sink and I don't know if the camera will just be poked around the corner here, but there's a very spacious shower again with a separate door so you don't access from the walkway, you access from inside the head. So there you have the interior of Laurel Blue, uh, Broad Blue 415. Very nice condition, she's only two years old, but she's already cruised the Med and crossed the Atlantic twice, so uh, she's a well-proven boat.